What's up guys? Welcome back to another Stay Fresh production. Got a real special video for you guys today. Something we don't talk about much and that is fashion. A lot of you guys ask me about that on my videos, ask me about where I get my jackets and stuff like that. So we're not gonna dive too deep into it because I am no expert by any means, but I do like to pay attention to these things when I can. And the topic of today's video is truly how we are relating fashion to your fragrance. Does your outfit need to match your fragrance? The answer is no. Peace, see you guys in the next one. Okay, just kidding. Uh, there's different philosophies on this. Some people say it doesn't matter. You just wear whatever you want when you want. That's cool. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. But I will say that there is definitely something to being a little bit more thoughtful with how your fragrance matches what you're wearing and how it plays into the psyche of other people. And I mean, there's a psychological aspect to that, how people perceive you visually and in terms of smell and how it all comes together in one package. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. I have three distinct categories we're going to be talking about in terms of outfits. That's going to be casual, night out, and then semi-formal or formal. So let's start with casual. As you can see, I'm just wearing a black V-neck t-shirt. This is one of my go-tos. I love just wearing black V-neck t-shirts. And this would even be in the daytime. I could have gone with a lighter shirt like a white or a gray or something like that, but I went with black, but I would definitely choose my fragrance based on my primary color of my shirt. So if I'm wearing a black shirt, then casually during the daytime, at any point in the year, I might throw on Creed Aventus. Yeah, I like to wear this one casually. This one can be worn formally as well, just fine, but just for me and my purposes, I generally wear it when I'm dressed casually and it goes perfectly. It's kind of sweet, but not too sweet. It's musky, it's woody. It's just, it's a very great masculine fragrance. It goes great casually. Let me show you what else I got on to go with this black shirt. So as you can see here, uh, this is not a perfect view, but I'm doing my best. I got these blue chinos on, these blue chino pants, navy blue. I think they go great with black. They're very versatile. And I got these white vans on. Now you might be thinking, well, white shoes, black shirt. I think something like a navy blue works great when it is a color that is in between the shades of your shoes and your shirt and these are all basic colors we're dealing with here so i think it works good as a casual look and as you can see here gotta throw in a watch this is not sponsored by movement but this is one of my favorite watches it's the movement chronograph there we go i love this watch i've had it for a long time i really dig it great quality stuff and black to go with my black shirt Okay, and if I was wearing a white shirt with this, which I could have done, or even just a lighter color shirt like white or gray, I probably would go with a lighter fragrance, something like John Varvato's Artisan Pure. I really, really enjoy this stuff, especially with light colored shirts. I think, again, you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want, but if you pair this with a light shirt, a light citrusy scent in the daytime casually, just goes better with lighter colors. And it's not something that people pick up on when they're near you like, hmm. Yeah, your lighter citrus fragrance goes great with your light colored shirt. Like nobody thinks of that, but we're talking about these subconscious influences that you might have on others around you by making these subtle pairings with your fragrance and your clothes. That's casual, let's move on to night out. All right, so moving on to the night out portion. We're talking about like autumn and spring nights maybe not so much winter i will be wearing probably a v-neck t-shirt like this black and what goes great with the v-neck that's right leather jacket baby i love throwing on a leather jacket with this and i still got the same pants on i'll show you guys the shoes and stuff in a second here and this brings us to today's video sponsor jcs leather they provided me with this jacket for review. This is not a paid promotion or anything, but they did provide me with the jacket to wear and to test out and to talk to you guys about. And I gotta say, I've had it for a couple weeks now. I have been digging it. I'm not getting a whole lot of use out of it now because it, it is warming up, but when I first got it, it was great to throw on. So we're gonna talk a little bit about this jacket here. Uh, so JCS Leathers, they're based at, I believe, Pennsylvania in the United States and they pride themselves in making high quality high performance polyurethane leather products they make things from backpacks to satchels hats 
watches, and even jackets, like you see here. So pretty simple in design. They call this their Wayfarer jacket. It has what's called a Mandarin collar, uh, which is this high collar with this kind of like double buckle design, which I dig. And it has these buttons on it as well. Um, what I love about the, this thing is warm, especially when we're talking about autumn nights or even spring nights when it can get a little chilly. It's lined with this fleece on the inside, which it is so warm. <laughs> it is unbelievably warm. It do, it'll keep you toasty, even if the jacket is unzipped. That's what I found. I really, really dig it. And it definitely is high quality in terms of, again, it's not real raw leather or anything like that. It's, again, a polyurethane leather. And I am no expert on leathers, first of all, let me tell you. But what you get from this is that you're not going to get all the cracking and the flaking that you might have from, from other leathers. The stitching is going to be pretty clean throughout. And what I like about this jacket is that it is a nice kind of leather and suede combo throughout. And it's just, a, again, really soft and supple, but definitely high performance. It's flexible, which is nice. Uh, this particular jacket comes in what they call a European slim fit style. So if you did order it, they recommend that you order two sizes bigger than you normally would for it to fit. Now I have an extra large here. I'm actually curious to see if I had ordered a large because this does feel, it, it feels comfortable, but it does feel a little bit big on me, maybe a little baggy. And I'm wondering how a large might fit, maybe a little bit more snug, but I am happy with it. And what I do like is that you can wear the collar up like this or something I found out if you don't like that, you can kind of fold it out and kind of have this little almost like fur look <laughs> on the collar, which I really dig. Kind of adds a little bit more ruggedness to it, I think. So the pros about this jacket, feels high quality, it's comfortable, it's very warm, and I think it looks great. I mean, it's kind of like a motorcycle style, but you know, I just, I just love the styling of this thing. All right, a couple things I'm not crazy about with this jacket. If you notice here, the zipper is actually on the left side of the jacket, which is a little strange. It's not something you see all that much. So if you're used to zipping with your right hand up, it is a little awkward to get used to. I wouldn't see myself zipping this jacket up all that much, but if you wanted to, it's a little bit weird. Why they did that, I'm not exactly sure. Also, you might be saying, well, Justin, why didn't you put on a black leather jacket to go with your black V-neck? Well, to put it simply, I was looking for one, but this is the closest they have to black. This is the black coffee color. It comes in three colors, a light coffee, a dark coffee, and a black coffee. And this, as you can see, it's not actually black. It's a very, very, very dark brown. And I kind of wish they had a black jacket. I was really planning on getting one, but I saw this is the darkest one, but I decided to go with it anyway, just to see how it would look in person. And this is what it is. But I am happy with it, how it fits, how it looks. And just so you guys know, I decided to pair this with a pair of black Chelsea boots. I love these. These are black leather Chelsea boots. They're actually pretty new. I got these from a company called the Thursday Boot Company. They're not sponsoring this video, but if you're looking for some great Chelsea's that fit great and are, have great styling, these are some ones to check out. And again, I just kept on my blue chinos. I think it works. I could have thrown some blue jeans as well. That would have been fine, but for the sake of time, decided to keep the chinos on. And let's not forget the fragrances that I would pick from in terms of this outfit here. Can never go wrong with Dior Sauvage. This is the Eau de Parfum. When you're in darker colors, this fresh ambroxan but slightly oriental fragrance is gonna work great. The more I've been wearing this, the more I really love it, especially for the night out when it's a little bit cooler. And can't go wrong with something that actually has leather in it to go with your leather jacket. I don't have any super overtly leather fragrances in my collection, but I do have this one, John Varvato's The Original, the OG, which does have a prominent leather note in addition to a few other notes like plum and cinnamon. Beautiful, I think it's, it's dark and mysterious, but also kind of fresh and inviting, but has a warmth to it. Goes great with the leather jacket in my opinion. So let's move on to the semi-formal and formal. Okay, before I forget, I wanna give a huge shout out to Justin Santana, who is the owner of JCS Leathers. Got a great first name, man. Thank you so much for reaching out to me and being generous enough to share your product with me for review. And for you guys, if you are interested in their products, I think they are awesome. And once you see the website down in the link below, you'll know what I mean. He's been generous enough to provide a discount code just for you guys stay fresh 25 
that's going to give you 25% off of your order, of your entire order, whatever you want to buy, 25% off. I recommend at least taking a look. I'm not sure about all of their items, but I know for a fact that at least the jackets, if you order them, they do take about two to three weeks to arrive. So just be prepared to wait a little bit uh, to receive the product. Anyway, thank you again, Justin. Moving on. All right, and finally, we're at the formal or semi-formal look. Now, uh, sticking with the blue theme here, I uh, decided to go light blue with navy blue. And uh, I'm cheating a little bit. I'm wearing the same chinos. These are not, they're not the suit pants that came with this suit. But they'll work for the video because I didn't feel like taking them off. Um, I like the little tie because it is kind of contrasting but also complementary with the purple, which does go with a navy blue. Now, I like the light of the stripes here, and I do really like pairing a pattern tie with a solid shirt. So basics with that, as you can see. This is not the most formal look ever. Tuxedo would obviously be the most formal, but we're just going with suit and tie today. For the shoes, I got these Brotellos here. I love these things. They're light brown, uh, made in Italy. Really, really dig them. Uh, very, very sleek. And uh, I'm also cheating a little bit. I have this belt on, which the color does match the shoes, but this type of belt is not something I would wear formally. This is too thick. I think a thinner belt will work better with the suit, but this is all I had in terms of color. And also can't forget, I got this movement watch. The brown is not quite as light as I would prefer, but it works. So formal fragrances. What are we going to put on with a suit and tie? Well, there's many many fragrances you could wear with a suit and tie that would be great i could have chose reflection man which would be great to wear in the daytime to a formal event or something like that but i decided to go with these two creed viking i think creed viking can be kind of worn in similar situations as aventus but i think it works really great in a suit a lot of people don't like this stuff but i absolutely love this stuff if you want to see my review on it please click the link up there and learn more about the fragrance if you don't already know. And secondly, I can't be a gentleman without my favorite gentlemanly fragrance, which would be John Varvato's Vintage. Can't go wrong with this. You've seen it on my channel before. This would be great in a suit. Really, really great, especially at nighttime. You throw this on with a suit, you look you know, real put together, you smell real put together with this stuff. There's just, I think the two would go together very, very nicely. I do have a review on this one as well. Please check it out if you haven't already. So that's all I wanted to talk about today. I hope this helped a little bit in regards to pairing your fragrance with your outfits. It is something I like to be mindful of. Again, you don't have to do that. You can do whatever you want. But if you did want to kind of bump things up just a little bit and add an appeal, to people that is pretty much invisible. People don't really take notice of these things, at least consciously, but it does have an effect. If you wanna make a good impression, just try it. And if you have any tips or if you have any strategies that you go about using when it comes to fragrances and outfits, please let's share down in the comments. Let's talk about it. Again, I don't claim to be a fashion guru. I just like to look nice however I can. I do my best. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you guys on the next one.